So first open the Chrome browser and we are going to install a Linux distro first. So I'm going to use the Linux Mint but you can also use Peppermint OS, Ubuntu or any other Linux distro of your choice. Additionally from the Chrome web store we will download the Chrome recovery utility Chrome extension. So just search for it and add it to your browser. Now open the extension and before proceeding you need to go to the file manager and locate your Linux ISO file. Now we will right click and rename it and add .bin in front of the ISO and save it. This will help to recognize it in the recovery utility extension. Now click on the gear icon and choose erase recovery media. Insert your pen drive and then select that and then just delete it so we do not face any kind of errors. Now create another and again click on the gear icon and now choose use local storage. Now select your Linux Mint ISO file and then select your pen drive and start the flashing process and this may take a long time so just wait for it. And once the process is finished you need to make sure you have backup everything before proceeding. Now power off your computer and then press the BIOS key and your power menu together. And in the BIOS settings make sure you have secure boot disabled. Similarly we will use the boot menu key to enter the boot menu and access our pen drive. Now select your pen drive from the list. Then select the first option. And in the Linux Mint home screen just double click on the install Linux Mint icon. Now complete the basic uh, setup for your language, connect to the Wi-Fi and everything. Now in this installation screen, select the second option that is erase disk and install Linux Mint. This is going to delete the Chrome OS Flex and install the Linux Mint. And Linux is the only way we can install Windows without any issues later. Now select your region and also it will ask you to create a username and password. And the installation may take longer than usual as it was my case. So you can skip some of the steps if it's taking much longer. Now once you are in the Linux Mint home screen, make sure you are connected to the internet. Now open the Firefox browser and download the Windows 10 ISO. And if you have already downloaded it, make sure you have moved it inside the file manager. Um, that was in my case. So I have already downloaded the Windows 10 ISO, which is right here. Now to create the Windows 10 bootable pen drive, we will need a tool called VOI USB. Um, this is the main uh, program that we are going to use. So open the terminal and then we will run these commands. Make sure you run these two commands first. So just right click copy and paste as the you know control and C wasn't working. So you can just right click copy and paste it here. Enter your password and then execute the command. Similarly the upgrade command just copy paste and press enter. The upgrade command may take longer time to process so do not interrupt it in the middle. Now we are going to uh, copy and paste this command which will install the dependencies that we need to install the USB. So we will run this first. And the speed of the download and installation may depend upon your internet connection. Now we can proceed with the installation of the actual program. So run this final command in the terminal. This command will not take a long time and it's going to install it instantly. Now in your start menu, you will find the USB file under the accessories and just the lowest one this one is it voi usb ng now enter your password to open the program so this is the actual program that we're going to use so before proceeding any further i will advise you to follow the next step as a lot of you had issues with the pen drive not reading or it failing in the middle so what you need to do is uh, go to the start menu again and then search for disk disk now open this program called the disks now here select your pen drive 
Now click on the three dot menu and select the option format disk. Now leave the settings as default and click on format and confirm. Now that your pen drive has been formatted, click on the plus icon and then click on next. Now give it a random name and leave it to fat for fat32. This is going to create a new volume and then just click on continue. Now we have formatted and our pen drive is ready. So you should not face any kind of issues regarding unmounting error. So now we will select our ISO file to go to other locations. Now computer, the home directory and inside uh, I have kept the ISO in the downloads folder. So I'll select that. Now in the bottom section select your pen drive and click on refresh if you're not seeing a pen drive. Now we're going to start the process. Now you need to remember that this is, can take up to an hour sometimes and also it may fail in the middle like it did for me. So if it does that just restart your computer and redo the process and it was successful for me on the second attempt. So you can see here that it has successfully completed it. So now we can power off our computer from the uh, start menu and just uh, press the restart and then uh, click the boot menu key for your device to access your pen drives and in this case I will select my pen drive and you can see we have the Windows 10 logo also if you did the same process using the recovery utility extension um, you will face an issue which happens after you have done all these settings so let's see if we face the same issue or not regarding the drivers select the custom install and here we can see we can use our mouse without any issues so it has not uh, created any issue so make sure you delete all your partition so delete partition 1 then partition 2 uh, otherwise you will not be able to install it now we have our full storage accessible click on next and it will start installing the windows 10 so you have done it without any issues And you can see here I have successfully booted into Windows 10. So if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments. So that was the process of how you can remove the Chrome OS Flex and install Windows 10 on your computer. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.